Time, mate. You have to get over to Steel Springs right away. There's something big and scary menacing the locals. This one's a top priority, mate. G'day, son. Let me know if you need a hand, okay? That's a ripper of a rang, son. Bye, son. Hello, Ty. Welcome back, mate. Just give me a yell if you need a hand. You've done well, mate. Bye bye.
You again. So you're ready to race carts? See ya, bud. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, oi, oi! Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite Tasmanian tiger. Fluffy! I should have known I'd find you here. You're always terrorizing somebody. A girl's gotta earn a living. When are you gonna give it up? You know you can do better than Cass. You really think so? I know so. He's mean, arrogant, selfish, conceited, and a bully. Yeah, but the money's good. Sick and patchy.
don't let that little orange rat get you down. I certainly didn't expect that to happen. Well played, Rat. You won this one. But next time, you won't be so lucky. Good work, Ty. You stopped Fluffy and Cass from terrorizing the kind folk of Steel Springs. That bird brain Cass will stop at nothing to hinder us. Oi! Watch who you call a bird brain, fur face. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure he meant it as a compliment. Boss Cass has such a large cranium, it's obviously a sign of great intelligence. <clears throat> oh, good save there, Dennis. Now that that's out of the way, I've got some more jobs for you, mate. <laughs> no worries. Ah, oh, Fluffy, you're back. Did you get it? It wasn't easy, but here it is. It's smaller than I imagined. Mmm, you have the grid processor. Very good. Ah, Professor Carlos, I got what you wanted. Now, can I see a demonstration of the machine? Mmm, it is feasible. The machine! Ouch. That's gotta hurt. What just happened? It appears that I still need one more component. Whatever you need, get it. I want the machine fully operational as soon as possible. And then I will have the power to rule not just Cassopolis, but the entire world. Ha 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 Ah, Bruno's gotten himself into a pickle. He went climbing in Frillneck Forest but got stuck. Now he needs a helping hand. It's amazing, I tell you. <laughs> you ain't seen anything like it. No siree. Uh, a giant uh, razorback pig, at least 20. Uh, no, no, make that 100 feet tall. And Ty, he was all like, yahoo, and he was jumping all over the place. <laughs> and the razorback was trying to squash him, but Ty stood his ground. The Razorback powered toward Ty, steam coming out of his nose, sparks shooting from his hooves, fire coming out of his, uh, his ears. And then, without warning, Ty jumped out of the way, and the Razorback slammed into a termite mound. <laughs> Not just any termite mound, though. Uh, this one was full of a, uh, the rare and dangerous killer African Mighty Bitey Ants. They swarmed all over the Razorback, distracting him long enough for Ty to save the village full of orphans. <sighs> it was an amazing sight. There's a place in the deepest, darkest outback that I swore never to tell anyone about. Ever. 
It's a, a dangerous, treacherous place full of bad, bad things. No one, except yours truly, <laughs> has ever escaped and lived to tell the tale. But I like you kids, so today's your lucky day. It all started when I was doing a stint of door-to-door -door salesmanship, huh? selling special left-handed toupees for people who come to the right, in case you're wondering. Now, uh, where was I? <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the world's largest fake crocodile? Yeah, I, I happened across it when I was passing through Dusty Burrows last year. <laughs> it, it made from paper mache and pieces of old gumboots it is. It looks amazing. You have to check it out. You really do. Hello, Toy. Dennis, I made it as soon as I could. What's the emergency? Oh, it's just terrible, Ty. Terrible. What is it? Who needs saving? My freeway is in trouble. Is Cass responsible? Did he blow it up? No, no, no. I was building the Dennis Memorial Freeway when the workers walked out on me. Dennis Memorial Freeway? They were complaining about my fastidious scrutinizing. I told them the fuchsia brickwork clashed with the faux teak timber trim. It simply wouldn't do. I hope you paid them double time. It's simply terrible. The freeway is so close to being finished. I just need a few extra pieces put in place. Will you help Duke find those pieces and put them in the right spot? Pretty please. Watch out!
Be careful, sir. your six, sir. Goodness gracious me, you did it! I hereby declare the Dennis Memorial Freeway officially open! Thank you, Ty. No worries. The Pippi Beach Nippers are having a surf carnival today, Ty, but they forgot their sunscreen. Rex and Elle have a supply of zinc cream ready to go. Would you be a top bloke and make sure the nippers get their sunscreen? Truth, it's a good thing you're here, mate. We need a hand taking these crocs. Count me in. Good one, mate. We'll be using a boat and a chopper to round them up. I'll steer the boat toward the crocs. You use the chopper to pick them up and move them over the pontoon. Duke will drop them and I'll tag them. No worries.
the field, sir. Three little suckers, aren't they, sir? We did it. We tagged all the crocs. Ty, you're a top bloke. Former Norman's been on the blower with an unusual request mate. The Wooly Wooly oil rig cook quit today and left him in the lurch without any food. Luckily Dennis has volunteered to cook for him. Can you swing by his place and pick up their lunch? my fuzzy orange friend returns. I think I'm all out of gooboo juice. Not good. You don't think they want my gooboo juice, do you? I won't let them take it from me. No way. I'll hide it real good, just as soon as I find it. 
Uh, speaking of finding things, I found these. I know you like them, so they're all yours. Uh, that was you. You again. So you're ready to race carts? Get out of here. You're scaring away my customers. See ya, bud.
You again. So you're ready to race carts? See ya, bud.
Boy, have I got some stories to tell. The things I've seen and the stuff I've done. It'd fill a book it would. Two even. Maybe three if you use big print. There was this time when this thing happened in this place I was at. Oh boy, was that ever an adventure. This person, I forgot their name, they had something they had to do something to. And I had another thing that someone else had to do stuff with. <laughs> they sure were wild times. I like you, kid. Here, have these things I got from that person in my story. 